Hey, Mike here from 28 Fish. And today we're going fossil hunting on the Carrot River. What is that? I don't know. Well, good morning. We spent the night in a gravel pit here just uh, north of Par Lake. Uh, Par Lake was full right up. I think with COVID, everybody's kind of staying close to home. But I'm glad we stayed here because we got up early this morning and uh, we're able to find all sorts of foraging options here. So, of course, we found the ubiquitous chokecherry tree. They're not in season yet, but those guys are. The Saskatoons, and they're huge. Look at the size of those. So, half of them are in season. Are you going to pick some and eat them, Lukey? Yay! <laughs> but what we're really excited about was this option right here. We found a whole bunch of these wild strawberries. And they were absolutely loaded with berries. Look at that. Hey Luke, you wanna try a strawberry? Yeah, I wanna get the biggest one. The biggest one, I thought you'd go for that. Pop her in and tell me what you think. Mm. They're a lot more sweeter. Yeah, aren't they? Yeah, because they're like really wet. Well, I picked these for you and mom, so go ahead and dig in. How's your breakfast, Christy? Delicious. Fresh <laughs> strawberry milk. Mm -hmm. And I found milk today and wild strawberry. Well, here's the rig. We got the boat up on top of the quad. We got a little Chrysler six horse on the back. We do have an electric motor too, but I figured I want to try out this little gas motor on this boat. Gas tank. I'm going to rip down to the lake and then come back and get the kids. Hopefully this will work. Uh, a few days of having to wait for the rain to, uh, to to bugger off so the road would dry up. We finally found the entrance to the Big Burt uh, dig site. Um, we thought you could take a trail from Carrot River Park, but that's been washed away. So there's another kind of back way here. And uh, so we are got the quad loaded and the kids are on. Ready, guys? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> we'll go see what we can find. The river's running pretty high, so who knows if it's even exposed right now. Got a load there, Max? <laughs> so this is the old tour spot, I guess, for when they used to run uh, tours to the Big Burt dig site. Dig site! <laughs> There's uh, some really good shale deposits here, but uh, it's quite a drop off. So I brought the uh, ratchet strap. This will be our MacGyver um, <laughs> repelling rope, I guess. So here's the Carrot River. See, it's running pretty good. Lots of shale deposits here. And uh, yeah, they're all over the place. This is millions and millions of years of basically clay deposits in the bottom of an old shallow sea 92 million years ago. It's really cool, it's like a natural stir. Oh. Careful, Lukey. Look at this, eh? See this yellow? Yes. That's extinction line. Anything below that should be the, the seabed. And things above it, there's probably nothing, not much life in there. Come over here. 
this a trap again? No. Just imagine this is like, um, this is the seabed, and then an asteroid. You found something? Gold? You want to try to take it out with? This year. Compared to the camera? Well, it's right through, eh? Yeah. A couple of examples of um, like oyster beds. So I'm going to dig into this because that would mean this would be the seabed. So there may be like a tooth or something cool just laying right beside just underneath these layers here. Look, there's so there's shells attached all here mm -hmm. and mud. And you can see there's some shells here. Huh. That's exciting. Huh. What is that? I don't know. Fish? It looks like one of those little horseshoe crab kind of things, but who knows? I'll have to it out and see. Definitely fossil. We might have found a 90 year old dump, 90 million year old dump here. See, it looks like a, what's that called? Cropolite? Cropolite? You see how all the, looks like shells that are all chewed up and they're all at different angles, so it's probably some kind of. Mosasaur turd. Mm -hmm. So here's a potential tooth that I found. You can see the serrated edges in the sun. Huh. Like. Mm -hmm. really hard. Yeah, it's di it's different than that. It's it's mineralized, eh? So could be a tooth. It's gotta Shark be. Tooth. Mm -hmm. Can you see the serrated? Well, I can't really see it through the camera, but it, oh. yeah. Sure. Oh yeah, that's a sharp little tooth. Yeah. Well, how are you gonna work that out? Mosasaurus tooth. We're gonna leave it like that. Good find Dad. Yeah. Here's a close up of that extinction line. It's kind of interesting when you dig in. It's still soft. Like, it feels like you're digging out ash from a from a well from a campfire. And if you give it a smell, maybe it's just my head, but it smells like it smells like sulfur, which would make sense. Does it smell yeah. like a match? Mm -hmm. I never smelled a match before, but yeah. So this white rock was just sticking out on top, on the very last of the layers of the shale. And on top of the rock was a piece of petrified bone. Look at this. I'm not sure what it would be. Some kind of femur or arm bone or something. So here's all of our fossils that we kind of found today. Quite a, quite a few of these sort of oyster bed type so that's, that's a kind of a cool one. 3D. And that. Another one there. Found quite a few of these. They're kind of like a sand dollar almost. I'm not really sure if that's what it is. And some more in there. I found this little thing that I thought maybe was like the tip of a, of a bone. But I'm not sure if that's the case actually. This is probably the best find I would say. But for fossil, I'm pretty sure that's a serrated tooth. And then this little guy, um, it's kind of cool. There's a, where is it now? There. So it's sort of a shiny little, almost conch shaped shell, but it's very small. Oh yeah, and then this is probably the right top. There's that bone split in half kind of thing. There we go. Did you find any fossils, Luki? Uh, yeah, I I didn't find any, but I found them. They're in my pocket. Here's the meanest thing in the forest. Some call these tentacles. This is a spruce bug. Look at the mandibles on that sucker. So mean. They bite. You'll hear a click, 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 flying around. That means they're coming. This guy was just resting in the shade.